good morning children hope all of you are doing good and are safe june 5th we all know we observe it as international environment day the theme for this year is celebrate biodiversity time for nature we owe to the nature for all its resources the food we eat the air we breathe water we drink for the climate everything now we are passing through a tough time so the nature reminds us to take care of our nature so this sunday we observe as environment sunday so we will see some aspects regarding this from the bible first who created this world we all know god created this world light darkness stars sun moon water animals birds trees and finally man it is seen in the first chapter of the bible genesis chapter 1 it details about the creation in some other chapters also we can see about the creation exam colossians etc so we should respect the creation we should respect the god second thing is god wants us to learn from the nature it is very important to study the nature and its environment god says his manifold works can be found by understanding his creation matthew 6:26 goes like this look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap we have much to learn from the nature just observe the starry night the rivers that flow the mountains beautiful trees and flowers even a small grass that has a story to share with you or just watch a bird how it builds its nest how it lays eggs how he found food for its younger one we have many things to learn from nature God also wants us to learn from the nature his creation. The third thing I want to share is every creature is a part of God's creation. Then how can we show disrespect to this? Nowadays we face a lot of environmental issues. Global warming, floods, deforestation bush fires infestation plastic issues extinction of species etc these are all man made disasters no other organism do such devastation like humans in isaiah 43:20 it says like this even the animals give thanks to the creator who provides for their needs so it is very important to respect other creatures and other creations of god it is our duty the fourth point i want to share is god wants us to take care of the nature in genesis chapter 126 says god created the man in his own image he also made man to rule over other creation yes god made man dominion over all other creation it is just because of god's trust in us so we of course we depend on our nature for our existence for food and other things we depend on our nature but we are not supposed to spoil the world or to contaminate the world So the four points I have said is first one God created the world 
second one we should learn from the nature third thing we are not supposed to destroy the nature fourth one we should take care of our nature so what can we do to protect our nature no one is too small this captivating title itself should make a resonance in our humble lives this is a book written by greta thunberg a swedish environmental activist she's just 17 years old she fights for global awareness about climate change and its consequences as individuals what can we do to save our nature we can switch to steel bottles instead of plastic water bottles we can use cloth pouches instead of plastic boxes we can use paper pens or seed pens instead of plastic pens you can plant more trees you can stop throwing plastic waste here and there what we can do at our homes from our homes itself we must take care to segregate waste into biodegradable and non biodegradable we can avoid plastics and can use more bottles we can plant more trees we can use jute bags and many more what can we do at our schools in most of the schools they have waste segregation units so use it efficiently all the schools observe environment day by planting saplings making vegetable gardens and cleaning school compounds most of the schools engage in eco club activities now many of the schools are eco friendly by avoiding plastics it is very happy to see that now in our state green protocol is strictly maintained in cultural gatherings and public functions as a church what can we do our synod has a specialized department on ecological concerns streamlining various eco friendly activities of its congregation even our church csi cathedral calicut is a green parish be proud of it and try to be a part of its endeavors jesus came for salvation not only for the people but also for all the creation we should keep in mind that the earth and its unique flora and fauna they are invaluable we should pass it on intact to the generations to come we should hand it over to the next generation purer than once we had received hope you enjoyed this have a blessed day and a blessed week ahead thank you